Today, kids, we are going to do a little bit of gaming on a Mac Mini from 2012, but not just as it came. No, sir. We're hooking up the Sonnet B350 with the XFX Radeon AMD RX 488 gigabyte card. So thanks to this beauty, we might actually be able to accomplish something today. All right, here it is. I'm excited. My Sonnet B350 breakout box. Going to be hooking this up to my graphics card, hook it up to my Mac. Well, you know, hopefully. I have an XFX Black Edition, so, Black Edition. Uh, so we will see if the firmware is compatible with OS X. So, forgive me. Ugh. User's guide, that's important. Power cord. USB-C cable, which is gonna be our Thunderbolt 3 cable, which I get to use an adapter for. Let's see here. This is both uh, a bit larger and smaller than I had imagined it would be. I expected this to be actually wider than it is long. But we shall see if I can noise. Trying to do it all one handed here. Tape together real well. This one hook here. This is like a pretty thin metal, maybe maybe anodized aluminum. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Not a scratch. Woohoo! Slick S on the front of it, too. Okay. Got some intake vents here. And there's our fan there. Looks like 120 millimeter. Maybe 140. We're gonna measure. But it's our power supply here. It's our on off switch. This is gonna be where our graphics card sits. That is our thumb screws. So I'm going to. Uh, Inside. Let me get some better lighting here as soon as I get it open. Straight away in opening this, you're gonna have to slide it back and then it kind of slides up and off. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with a single hand. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. So. Okay, I have to use both hands on this one. Okay, so once you get the top off, this is going to fall out. You've got some zip ties and an extra thumb screw. And so basically you, you pull on it so it slides back and then it pops up. Just be careful that you do not bend it this way. It is not, it is not designed to pivot like this. It's supposed to go straight back so that the lip here on the sides clears and then you pull it up. Little, little tough to do, but this is our uh, power supply here, 350 watts, it's our fan, and that is the actual PCI Express board right there. So, got some other pins here, but it looks like you can swap out the fan if you want it, because it's a four pin, so it doesn't let you use anything proprietary, and because it's four pin, maybe there's a way to control the fan, um, I don't know that, but maybe something to experiment with. Alright, so we're going to try to hook this up with, uh, I'm going to set up my camera so you have some sort of idea of what exactly I'm doing, but it's not, not much to it. I mean, the graphics card is going to go in here, and you're going to take your 6-pin or 8-pin adapters, plug it in, and that's going to be that. Alright, here we go. So, let's start by taking this thumb screw and this panel off the back. And we've got two screws right here, so. Sorry for the noise. You're gonna need yourself a screwdriver. Imagine that. So, let's 
screwdriver with a little extender. Slides right in. No problem. Whoops. Luckily, I didn't land on anything important. graphics card and we're just going to slide it right in here make sure that we are lined up at the back here got our ports lined up get lined up here along the bottom we just slide it right in bang done One screw, down the other, screw the end securely, and on our back plate. Okay, we have got two sets of power connectors here. One is a six plus two pin adapter, if I can get this thing lined up properly. So you've got an eight pin, which is the one I'll be using. Then you also have a standard six pin adapter. But I am not gonna be using that because this card requires eight pins. First two, and then we'll try to line up by six. There we go. All right, done. I'll tuck that away right over here. Now, actually, you know what? Should probably should probably zip tie that down. To be honest with you, a mess of cables. Otherwise. Okay, one thing I failed to realize when I was first setting this all up is that for my Mac Mini, I'm going to need a Thunderbolt cable, not a Thunderbolt 3 cable. So keep that in mind because this cable plugs into this adapter like so. So don't do that. Okay, now that I have it hooked up properly with the Thunderbolt cable plugged into my Mac Mini and plugged into the rear USB-C slot, which is Thunderbolt, Three. Oh, it lives. How exciting is that? Solid blue and the white LEDs of my XFX graphics card. So we're going to walk through the uh, setup process here on eGPU.io and see if we can't get it working. Well, kids, holy crap, I think it's working. Uh, I see right here where it says AMD R9 XXX uh, bus type GPU or type GPU, bus PCI Express, PCIe lane width, that's PCI Express lane width, is X4, which is what we expect, uh, and it's got VRAM total, 8 gigabytes, vendor AMD 0x1002, device ID is a 0x67DF, revision is 0x00C7, like Charlie, and metal, which is supported, feature set Mac OS GPU Family 1 version 3. So we're going to do a, a quick launch of Steam here and uh, find out uh, if it's performing any better than the built-in GPU. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll do a recording of both the actual screen using where is there? Like 
it's appeared on top of Steam, but it's, it's dark as well, so I couldn't really see the record button. So, alright, it is recording, and we're just going to load up Civilization V, because I've been playing that a fair bit lately. And, uh, let's see how well it works. I'm just going to leave the uh, audio here for my camera on. I'll turn the audio for the game itself off, or for my Mac itself off. Um, and sorry about the fans, it's a little hot down here. It's humid in, in late February here in the southeast. It's terrible, but it's also life. So, Civilization V, Brave New World. No, I don't have the God and Kings expansion. I just, I'm, I'm happy with Civ V as it is. It's just kind of a time killer, you know? Ah, GPU fans just turned on, so must be doing some kind of work. All right, video options. 1080p. Yeah, we'll set everything to medium just to see how it runs get everything on low before just because it was running off the built-in intel graphics uh, i'm going to change the texture quality to high however so turn off vsync um turn off high strategic view and gpu texture decode I'm just going to leave those off uh, video options not take effect until you restart the game so we're going to try this one more time okay now that we're back in the game I'm gonna try this now. I'm just gonna click the play now button and let it pick a random uh, tribe, which in this case is Shaka from the Zulu Kingdom. So, which actually I do actually have a game going on uh, playing as Shaka Zulu here. Uh, I just started up a single player game. So, um, it's showed for a second there. It's now down to two frames per second just because it's sitting on a loading screen. But it showed for a second there that it was at 332 frames per second on the menu screen, which is a heck, heck, heck of a lot faster. Or a higher frame rate than it was before. So let's see here as soon as it gets done loading. Probably to no great surprise installing a graphics card uh, has not improved the loading speed at all. So oh this looks promising. All right 30 frames per second 1080p medium settings getting up there near 50 there for just a second. All right that's cool. Look at that. Well, guys, I'm going to call it a success. I mean, you know, it's only medium settings on Civ 5. I'll play some other games, kind of get some idea for graphics benchmarking here um, to see what it can do. Uh, but I, it's, it's working, and that's the important part. So when we can tweak things and make the game prettier and uglier and whatever we want to do later. But I'm excited. I'm excited that it worked and that this card is now supported. I was really concerned because I, when this, when the the eGPU uh, craze kind of started got going here, um, when Apple first announced it, um, the XFX AMD Black Edition cards, which is what I have, were not supported. So I was like, ah, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to buy a whole other graphics chip to do this, um, and yet I don't have to, and that's great. And I'm so so excited for it. So. Um, Yay, yay, go us, go team. So this is the Sonnet B350. Uh, there is a 550 as well that has a more powerful graphic or power supply in it, so you can run a more powerful graphics card. Uh, it is only a single slot card, but this card in terms of or this case in terms of length is is more than enough to handle. You know, it looks like a probably 13 inch card or so. I mean, this one here that I have in here, I think is 10 inches, 10 and a half inches. Um, so definitely plenty of space for a 12 inch card. Well, everyone, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. I will be doing benchmarks at some point in the future, but for now, that's it. That's all I got. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching.